Hey guys, I am Hosanya from the Simply Learns team. Welcome to this video on a brief introduction to C programming language. C is one of the most popular general purpose and procedural programming languages which also happens to be one of the fundamentals if you wish to learn program. As most of the programming paradigms of the latest and most powerful languages are being sourced from C. More on that later. Without any further delay, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. And while we are at it, please leave us a like if you find our content helpful and a sub to the channel would be appreciated. Alright. We will start off by understanding a bit of the history of C language and how it came into the IT industry. Next, we will understand its important and unreveal the powerful capabilities of C. Advancing, we will look at C's cutting edge features that defines its brilliance. Later, we will discuss some of the popular real world applications of C that earned it some serious recognition. After that, we will discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of C just to help us with an overview of C and learn where it stands in current IT. Then, we will look at some of the popular IT companies and their domains that employ C and are in constant hurt for developers. And finally, to get things a little more interesting, we will try to wrap our heads around the technicalities of C by writing our first C program. So, I hope I have made myself clear with the agenda and we are good to get started. Now, let's begin with the history of the C language. Dennis Ritchie, a computer scientist, was able to identify the gaps and tap out the best features from both B and BCPL languages to invent a new hybrid. Hence, C was born in 1972 at Bell Laboratories. A remarkably simple and highly readable programming language resulted in groundbreaking advancements in the IT industry. It was when programmers started to reach the saturation point due to the outdated programming languages. Programmers often face troubles with B and BCPL, the most advanced languages. C served its purpose and successfully solved the redundant problems faced by the major part of traditional programming languages. Sooner, C started spreading its roots into various IT domains and sprouting with groundbreaking applications that included graphics, user interfaces, and fully functional operating systems. Great, we have a sound briefing on C and its caliber. Let us now understand what makes C so powerful and would it be enough to drive you to choose it to start building your applications? Slowly, the widespread use of C started to take over the IT industry. Unraveling the potential of C, the designers began to discover new possibilities that led them to focus on the big picture, a complete operating system designed using C. That's when the early Windows and Unix operating systems came into existence. Unix was the first ever fully functional operating system to be completely designed, developed and deployed using C. It is one of the most popular languages due to its reliability and machine independence. Also, it owns the caliber to develop and deploy powerful end-to-end -end application level programs. Google, Mozilla Firefox and MySQL are the popular examples to name a few. Another key to its success is that it became a user-friendly and most recommended programming language. Even today, C helps beginners learn and understand computer logic and programming fundamentals. Now that we know how powerful C language is, let's move ahead and understand some of the critical and cutting-edge features of the C language responsible for C's high success. The designers at Bell Laboratories made sure that their programming language solved the existing issues with B and BCPL and the ones they had foreseen. The most prominent one is the complexity of a programming language. C was developed so that it incorporated built-in functions to simplify mathematical and logical implementations and set rules or procedures to use them. The approach made it simple, easy to understand and implement while in a head-to-head -head comparison to its forerunners. It also gives C an added advantage of platform independence and portability. It combines the features of both high-level and low-level languages, resulting in the faster execution and smoother application development. Hence, C earned its patent as the first middle-level programming language. Next, 
the whole C program can be divided into individual and functional units. It means every individual function in the program acts as an independent unit to perform a specific task or an operation and is also capable of running separately. C language comes with built-in libraries and functions. This pre-written header file help user borrow and run the mathematical and logical operations directly from the library, helping them write simple and complex programs easily and drastically minimizing the development time. Next, C follows the top-down approach to the software development. Instead of classes and objects, a C program is divided into accessible smaller units called functions. The extendable nature of C allows developers to add additional functions to the C library. And also, it quickly adapts to all the new features. C language contains a wide range of built-in operators that are used for different scenarios such as arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator, bitwise operator, and many more. Lastly, C introduced several memory management functions within the standard library header file, and they take care of allocating, deallocating, and reallocating the memories in C. So I think you got a good understanding of all the features of C. Okay, so let us move on to the applications of the C language. Let us look at the first application. C language is used to design operating systems. As discussed earlier, Unix operating system was the first ever operating system designed entirely using the C language. Later, a wide range of Android and Microsoft Windows applications were designed using C. Next, C is one of the most popular languages and is widely used in designing and developing embedded systems for electronic gadgets. Also, the software burnt into the embedded systems is developed using C. Gra Graphical user interfaces are becoming increasingly popular in recent days. Electronic equipment relies on a fully fledged user interfaces for a better user experience. C is one of the foundational languages to introduce a simplified and user-friendly graphical interface. The early interfaces incorporated a few visual and graphics to interact with electronic devices. Next, Google File System was developed using the C language as a storage platform for generating and processing large volumes of data. Next, we have Mozilla Firefox. Mozilla Firefox is one of the free and open source web browsers coded using early standard versions of C. C language is also widely used in designing compilers and interpreters. A compiler translates the code from human understandable format to byte code. The popular database MySQL was also developed using C. The simplicity of C enables MySQL to perform data manipulation tasks with ease. Now that we have some idea about the applications of C language, let's have a look at some advantages and disadvantages. C programming language is simple, so it is easy to understand. Due to its open source nature, it is completely free, resulting in almost low or no cost. It has the fastest execution speed because the entire C program is translated at once, unlike the interpreter which translates line by line. C language is portable because the program written in one operating system can compile and run on another system with minimum compatibility issues. C library contains header files such as standard input output function, standard utility function, string handling functions, etc. It combines the features of both high level and low level languages, resulting in the faster execution and development. So, it is often called a middle level language. Let's now look at some of the disadvantages of C language. C is a procedural language. Naturally, the concepts of objects and classes is not present in C which is the major disadvantage of the latest software development styles. It does not support classes and objects, and C programs are divided into small units called functions. C language can translate the entire code in one go. Still, it often fails to recognize the critical runtime issues in the compilation stage, which happens to be another potential disadvantage. 
and it does not have an exceptional handling features. Unlike the popular object-oriented programming languages like Java, Python and few other languages, it lacks the features of try and catch which is employed exclusively for exception handling. Again, the C language does not have the features of constructor and destructor. It may have memory management functions, but they must be employed manually. At the same time, object-oriented programming languages like Java and Python have automatic memory management functions to take care of unused memory. They are called garbage collectors. With that, let's get into the companies using C and hiring software developers with the knowledge of C programming. And I'm sure you all are aware of the companies. So now let's have a look at that. We have Mastercard, IBM, Flipkart, Dell, Twitter, GitHub, and Twitch. The average salary of the software developers in the United States of America is 97,763 US dollars per annum. In India, the average salary of the C developers is 5 lakhs per annum. Okay, so let me now move on to the main part of this video your first C program. In C programming, hash include is used to direct the compiler to load the header files in the program. stdio.h is a header file that stands for standard input output. And various functions such as printf, scanf are defined in standard input output header files. Main is a function from which every C program execution begins. Printf function is used for output. So in this program, hello world is an output. Backslash n is called an escape sequence which denotes the new line character. In key takeaways, I would like to point out that C is a simple and flexible language. C is a structural and procedural programming language and it does not support the concept of object-oriented programming. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on the introduction to C language. I hope this session was informative and interesting. If you have any queries regarding any of the topic covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Sanya from the Simply Learns team signing off. Thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.